Oh, uh, the booze, you mean? Yeah. I mean, I've been in it for a minute, you know. So it's not like we're playing any we're playing any better to deserve better, you know. We're we're not, and it'll continue until we start playing better, you know. So we we gotta we gotta clean it up all aspects of the game, uh, all. You've been in other, you know, in Boston. You've been around. With, uh, how does a team pull out of something like this? Believing in each other, having each other's back, you know, because in the end, we're the only ones that's in it, you know. Uh, it's tough, man. It's tough going through rough stretches uh, on a personal level, uh, team level. It, it, it really sucks. And when everyone wants to win and coming home, you know, sleeping in your own bed. And I'm not saying Royals are the best team, but I mean, the standings where they are, I mean, it's, you should at least think that you should have the. You should have the series win, you know, and not that shows you should never underestimate any any team. It's a major league team and they have really good players on it, just a lot of young guys and understand that listen man, when people come in this place, they wanna they wanna beat us and we kinda like we have a target on our back, you know, and I don't feel sorry for you in the end. Um was the um the tenor of the team meeting afterwards? What? The team meeting, what was the you know, how, how would you characterize that? We had, we have to clean clean a lot of stuff up, and uh, once we do all of that, we'll be fine. But there's a lot of stuff that we have to clean up, and it's starting with attention to detail. You know, it's not in the box, swinging at a fastball, middle, middle. You can't control. You're gonna hit it out, or you're gonna pop it up. You know, but there's a lot of other stuff that you can really control in this game, and those are the ones that we need to we need to be pinpoint on. How is it for you personally? I mean, you're coming in as a free agent, you start hot, you get some, you have to kind of work yourself out of something too, and to have the expectations as one you know, of the big four mm -hmm. the guys supposed to carry this. Like, how have you been able to balance that and those kind of expectations for yourself in a new place? Understand that you're going to go through it as a baseball player. You know, I've been in many slumps. I've been in slumps last year. I've been in slumps every year. And you know what? It's sad to say, but this won't be the only time I'll slump. You know, so the quicker you understand that, that this game is hard and that you're going to go through stretches like this, I think the quicker you can get out of it and appreciating that you're playing a really hard game, you know, and as I said, sometimes people make it look easy, you know, three, four hits every day. It's like waking out of bed and you just automatic two doubles, you know, but it's hard. I imagine that people go through slumps and I imagine that even holds true that you are in a couple of World Series, teams that won World Series. Like how, what do those teams have when they go through those down times to get out of that? It takes to I mean, I think... I mean, Pete's here to say, we, we, we won a World Series in 13, and the only guy that hit was probably David Ortiz, right? Am I wrong? Pretty much. I mean, what, he had like 7-14 or something like that? I mean, it's harder for you to win, but I mean, in the end, it's a team, you know, and you have to have big hits by multiple guys, and going back, you can think of Shane Victorino, you can think of Johnny Gomes homers, I mean, it's not just one guy that, that gets it done all the time, you know, it would be nice for for you to have one guy doing it, but that's the best of seven series, you know, and, and, and what we're playing now is 162 games, so you can't really depend on one guy every day, you know, it's it's a matter of all, all of us together doing doing a better job. How tired are you guys, how tired are you guys seeing the same thing over and over that it's going to come? It, it, it seems like it's been the, 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 the theme since the first week of the season. Yeah. As I said. Attention to detail. Uh, this game, there's a lot of stuff that you can control. Uh, feeling a ball, throwing it, I mean, those are tough, you know. As I said, hitting a fastball down the middle, it's, you might pop up a, a couple times. It's harder to say where you're going to hit it, you know, but there's a lot of other stuff that, that, that we can definitely clean up for sure that is really in your control. And, and I'm not saying work ethic or, or anything like that because that's been, that's been on point. Yeah, in-game stuff. In-game stuff. And I mean, we, we don't have to, I don't have to say what it is. I mean, you're looking at the game too, you know, so you know what I'm talking about. When I became a better, a better player was when I started anticipating a little bit better. You know, I, I really never thought much of it, to be honest. I was young and anticipation to me, especially on the defensive side, was like, whatever you're talking about. You know, I, I never took it seriously, but once I started anticipating on defense, on offense, you know, what the pitcher wants to do and how he's setting you up and stuff like that. I, I really did became much better, you know. So anticipation and, and, and attention to detail, it's, 
is one thing that I feel will push us over the hump. It's not going back to Boston, but the Red Sox are in town for him. Do you have any special any, any feelings at all about about seeing him so soon? And I'll have you. I have a better answer for you on Friday. You know? yeah. Still a couple of days away from that. So, yeah.